Beloved, welcome to day 25 of the Bonaventure Lenten Challenge. Today, we reflect on, I must maintain a faithful relationship with my love, with Reverend Father Silas Sapati. In thy footsteps, the young ones run thy way. At the touch of the fire and by the spiced wine, the divine balsam flows. Dearly beloved in Christ, on this day of our Lenten journey, we reflect on the theme, I must maintain a faithful relationship with my love, God. There was a time I had an encounter with a lady at Christ the King go to. She was weeping uncontrollably, and I thought she had lost a parent. I became alarmed, and I approached to console her. I asked why she was weeping. He has left me. My husband said it's over between us. He is my love. I love him. I can't afford to lose him, was the response. It is true of many of us who deeply love relatives, friends, husbands, wives, and children. We can't afford to lose them. So, if we get excited with love for these persons, what about God? God is love, by excellence. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16 Can I build and maintain a deeper love for God such that I can weep if anything should disturb the love? In the stanza 25 of the Spiritual Canticle of St. John of the Cross, the author mentions three graces we receive by which we get excited and encouraged to love God more. The sweetness of God, the visits of love itself, and finally, the overflowing charity. Have you ever experienced true love with God before? Hello, my dear reader. Can you try consistent and frequent visits to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament in this season of Lent, at least an hour a day? There is some inner peace and joy which no words can describe. It is so fulfilling. In fact, the miracles are just unimaginable. I once shared with a friend, Mr. Benedictus Bojo from Sowutu, the sweetness that comes from the visit to Jesus, and he shared his experience. Since he visits the Blessed Sacrament often, and wants to champion adoration to the Blessed Sacrament as a spirituality for all, St. John of the Cross says, From this love, St. John of the Cross says, From this love flows divine balsam. We enjoy some interior visit of God. He inflames our hearts with love. When it happens like this, nothing matters to us in this world. Things just fall in place for us. It is a great moment. My dear brothers and sisters, why are you delaying and postponing your confessions? Distance yourself from sin and cling to God through intense prayer, reading of his word and sharing in the Holy Eucharist. The devil always tries to play by saying there's more time, so don't worry. Please, it is a lie. Don't listen to him. He has nothing good to offer. Get up now and fix your relationship with your love, who is God. He waits for you. When you connect to God, never allow anything to separate you from his presence again. St. Paul asks a legitimate question in Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? God loves us and let us abide in his love. Come to God and stay. Our scripture for meditation is Song of Songs, chapter 6, verse 3. Our activity for today. First, first of all, our activity for today. 1. Renew your relationship through confessions. 2. Pray the act of reparation. Sacred Heart of Jesus Treasury, page 218. 3. Visit any adoration chapel or any Catholic church and meet Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament 
and spend an hour with prayer of concentration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Sacred Heart of Jesus Treasury, page 156. Let us pray. My loving Jesus, out of the grateful love, I accept you and to make reparation for my unfaithfulness to grace. I give you my heart and consecrate myself wholly to you. And with your help, I resolve never to sin again. Amen. Thank you and see you tomorrow.